Hey everybody, Angry Puncher here, and we are back playing Star Fox Adventures. Now it's time for us to give the four gold bars to the high top. Well, we'll see what he wants. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to talk to you again. I want to give you your gold. gold now I get to watch this sand. entire cutscene again. I think you're supposed to get it out of the inventory. Of course your memory's not what you used to be. You don't remember you just told us this in the last video, dude? You should be able to find them. Return oh my gosh. all four gold bars, and I will help you on your quest. Now, like ninety percent of the video is me just sitting there waiting for him to shut up. Dude, quit shooting that crap at me. All right, where's the gold bar? Give gold. Give gold. Give it to him, dude. There we go. Gotta stand in just the right place, I guess. Om nom nom nom. Eat the gold. Dude, don't eat the gold. That's not a good idea. There's one. I might have to watch that animation four more, three more times. Four times total. Boom! Okay, a ladder fell. Oh, good, he took all four. I just didn't just show it. Nice. Okay, whoa, that was weird. I just tried to, like... Whoa. Yeah, I know. I saw her in the, in the cage over there. I heard her crying, too. She's kind of a whiny bitch. <laughs> Excuse my language. But, uh... <laughs> uh, I don't remember if I like that character or not, so I probably shouldn't badmouth her. We do get to meet her. Anyway... We're gonna head over to that ladder that he dropped for us, which his ability, his uh, his his way of helping us is just to be really big and like shake the ground, causing ladders to fall. But yeah, it was really strange. What I was trying to say back in that dock was that I just tried to uh, jump as the, and like spin and jump like I was in playing Mario because I just finished recording uh, Super Mario Sunshine for today. Like today is the uh, oh gosh, is it the twenty third? Yeah, wow, it's right the twenty third. Jeez. Gosh, time is flying. Man, that's the thing about college. Time goes by so fast, man. Especially when things are due soon. <laughs> then time goes by especially fast. Alright, so we opened up a grate. Why didn't I get the happy sound for that? I feel like I deserve that. We can't open that over there yet. Let's ignore it. Dude, I know you can jump off the edge. What are you doing? What was I talking about? Anyway, but yeah, today's the 23rd. The videos are going to go up a little bit late today. Sorry about that, guys. I'm actually... It's going up... It's right now, it's 520. And I'm recording. Normally, I upload at 5, 5 o'clock, so this is kind of weird for me. Alright, what am I supposed to do here? Fire blaster, perhaps? I'll look around. Not a bad bet that I need to use the fire blaster for something. I don't know. I see... I was definitely not near that door when that happened. Maybe it's not a timer. If you fool around long enough, it automatically just, like... Starts it without you. But... Oh, he's dying, dude! <coughs> oh god, power suggestion. He starts coughing, and suddenly I remember that I have a sore throat and a cough. Thank you so much, game game designers, for including this scene. Boom, oh, there's one. And the more of these that you cover up... You see Fox has, like, a breath meter down there? The more of these things that you cover up, the uh, slower that meter down at the bottom will go. And so once you've got three of them, you've got a bit of time. Which kind of doesn't make any sense, because... Fox technically should continue to lose his ability to breathe this air more and more quickly as time passes, because no matter how many of these things are covered, there's always more po poison pouring into the room. And the fact that there's more poison po pouring into the room means that the air should be getting progressively worse, and his time timer should start speeding up rather than slowing down. But I guess no one explained that's rare when they made the game. They probably wouldn't have really cared anyway, but... Hey! We opened the... That was really loud. Sorry, guys. Let's try, let's try this again in an 18-year-old's voice. Hey! We opened up the little grate down there. That's cool. Use your big boy voice now. Oh, just look at the shrooms. Oh, did I, I, get, did I get two in one, one swing there? Get out of here. These guys are so annoying. Alright, let's talk to you. Whoa! A cloud runner! Shoo shoo! Go away, cloud runner! Get away! Have you two met? He is an earthwalker. I am a cloud runner. Racist. Our tribes do not see eye to eye. His father has probably been saying bad things about me. Who locked you in there? General Scales. Who else? You see, I am the queen of the Cloudrunner tribe and also its gatekeeper. That guy needs to be taught a lesson. Where is he now? He used my powers to open a path to the Cloudrunner fortress. I must return there to help my tribe. I'm gonna need that spellstone. Looks like you've got yourself company, lady. Peppy, I'm returning to the Arwing. Can you make sure it's ready for takeoff? Wait a minute! There's no way I'm going up to her fortress! 
Okay, you can sit this one out. We'll head back to Thorntail Hollow, and you can wait there for me to return. I'll meet you at the fortress. Good luck! That's... strange. So, I mean, like, I, I mean, we, re we did rescue her and all, but, like, shouldn't, like, we be required to, like, I don't know, prove that we're a good guy or something? I mean, Link has the Triforce on his hand, for God's sakes. What does Fox have? Fur? I mean, seriously. I mean, I don't want to get into the debate about, like, whether Link or, or Star Fox is better, because, I mean, it's... <laughs> okay, I just, I about just said, like, I'm not going to get into the debate, and then started arguing. No, let's not do that, because, uh, I already know who would win anyway. So, uh, let's get the fuel cell on the way out of here, why not? I'm probably not going to need 29 to get in order to get up to Cloud Runner Fortress, but I'll pick that one up anyway. Actually, I think the other one I can jump to from up here, too. Can I reach that from here? Whoa, okay, well, I guess we'll find out. No, it's a lot further ahead. Alright, quit fooling around. we got to get back to uh, Thorntail Hollow and get in the R-Wing. Got another ship part in the next episode. Heck yes, I love those parts. Reminds me of Star Fox 64. Another game which I did not actually play. It's so funny. Super Mario 64 and Star Fox 64 I did not play. But I am now LPing... Or I did not play on the N64, I should say. But I am now LPing both of the immediate sequels for 3D like rendering games. Games like this where you run around and it's not a side-scroller. I don't think the rendering is the right word there. Because rendering means, like, compiling video information and, like, lining up things and getting crap to work properly. That's not really... Alright, let's not talk about that. <laughs> anyway. So we're headed back to Thorntail Hollow now. Which, is, which side of this thing do I climb? It's like, I run into the side and it just, like, slides off. Ugh. Alright. Ooh, zoom in and out on the map. No fuel cells, no information, nothing nothing important to add. Come on, Navi, I know you got more than that. I should start calling the com information computer Navi. I don't know, is there a Navi in this game? I mean, I guess there's no need to have Navi, because you have tr Slippy, who gives you, like, blatant hints. Like, they're not, well, that's not, I'm not even gonna call them hints. They, I mean, they don't even call it hints, they call it advice. It basically tells you what to do next. There's no, uh, there's no hinting involved. He says, hey, you need to do this. Or if you're in the wrong area, he'll be like, look at your freaking map and go where it tells you to go. Bad guys. Oh no. Not bad guys. It's probably the plants and the walls that he's complaining about. Alright, let's see if I can do this in reverse. Oh, well, maybe. I'm not even looking at the screen, I'm just looking at the map. <laughs> well, I'm looking at this only I'm only looking at the corner of the screen that has the map. Sixty scarabs to enter Cape Claw. That guy's so cool. Now I can't remember if we're gonna be uh Heading straight back to Thorntail Hollow or not. I feel like I'm spoiling it. <laughs> I don't know. Can't remember, actually. Get, 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 get away from me. No? No? Oh. Yeah, there's a grate over there. I don't know what's in there. We can't do anything there yet. Oh, I guess not. Well, maybe it's later. That's a bummer. I kind of wanted to go somewhere else instead. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. If you played the game before, you you, you remember that bit. But if you haven't, you'll, uh... Because I remember that's the... Th mm, eh. I gotta stop talking or I'm gonna start spoiling things. I don't want to, uh... Spoil too much. Oh, here we are going to the... Anti-loading screen area. I think that... The first game I ever played that did had that might have been this game. But I remember, like, when I played Tony Hawk's... I think it was Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. I can't remember. It may have been... I think it may have been American Wasteland. It may have been Tony Hawk's Underground. I can't remember that, like, a big, like, selling feature of the game was, like, no loading screens. Like, because people hated loading screens in skateboarding games. Because, like, you click to, like, go to, like, Tony Hawk Pro Skater f uh, f 2, or 4? I can't remember. I can't remember which one I had. I think it was 2. On the PS1, you, like, would click on a level and you'd wait and the loading screen would go and then you'd play. And then... But the loading screen could take a while. Like, the loading screens in that game were interesting. They had pictures of half-naked women with, like, your objective list written on top of them. Which, I mean, was both... <laughs> both entertaining and educational. Because <laughs> I actually came up with that, and candidly. Anyway, so now I'm farming for scarabs, because I don't think I can do the, the uh, ship bit in the next two minutes. So, a minute and a half now. Oh, something I never showed you guys is that there's little nuts hanging in these trees. If you hit the tree with your, uh... What was it called? <laughs> your staff. You can get them to fall, and you can pick them up and get health, just like that. And uh, if you come over here and put the staff back in the ground, you can go back in time by seven years. No, I'm just kidding. 
That would be awesome, though. <laughs> Baby fox and, like, adult fox and young fox. That would be so funny. All right, we're going to leave him, this kid with you. Please, take care of my son. No, I just said we're going to leave him with you because we're going to the Cloudrunner Fortress. So, I mean, he's your responsibility, lady. Seriously, what am I, a babysitter? Fox, that's what Fox is. He's a furry babysitter for dinosaurs. Anyway, I'm just mucking around now. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Star Fox Adventures when we will get in the R-Wing and go to Cloud Runner Fortress. See you guys then. Oh, I missed. There we go.